Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Garden Chip. Today it's me, Dwayne, with my mom again. And today she's going to explain how to propagate Stephanotis. So I leave it to you, mom. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to increase more of my collection and I'm going to propagate Stephanotis the very simple way. This is the best time to propagate Stephanotis during the month of May. All we have to do is to get a clean pot. I sterilize my pot before I propagate. It is more safe and I use one part bleach with 10 parts water to sterilize my pot. We also need, of course, compost. So, I am using sterilized compost. Even though you buy it new, sometimes you find tiny insects crawling on the compost. So, it is much safer if you sterilize it. You can use old compost. So, you have to sterilize it too. So, here I am showing you how to sterilize the compost. First, you fill an old dish, cooking dish, with the compost. Then, you soak it wet with water, really wet, as you can see the water. Then, you cover it with the foil. and bake it in the oven on low heat, about 170, 180 degrees, for one hour. It is important that you cover the dish with the foil, or else it makes a nasty smell. smell. So after an hour, take it out from the oven, let it cool, and then you can use it to repotting, uh, propagate, and it is safe because there are no insects in it and no diseases. So, I have moistened the compost. I removed the leaves. And then I scrape a little. Put it in the pot, just cover a little, see how light it is. We have to put something heavy on it to keep in the soil. And there you go, very simple propagation. This is going to take some weeks or months to root, to have roots. So we will see by time and show you when it is rooted. My Stephanotis looks very happy here. It's in my terrace. It has bright light, but I shelter it from the sun, especially the midday sun, because I use the, the shading net. I uh, water it uh, frequently. I give it fertilizer, the liquid, uh, standard liquid fertilizer, every two weeks. And sometimes I do foliar feed as well. Because when you give fertilizer from the leaves, it's much uh, better than from the soil. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this information useful. Please like and subscribe and also follow us on social media for day-to-day -day content. And that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.